Maybe I'm Nostradamus. I don't know. But I predicted yesterday. I said we need to end this beef with the Drake and Kendrick. Because I told y'all it was going to get too bad. Going to get too far. Go too far. So you had yesterday Drake's bodyguard got shot because some idiot decided to do a drive by in front of Drake's house. Shot the bodyguard or one of the security people in the chest. The guy was unconscious. It, it sounds like he's, he's going to survive the shooting. But... This was all due to the fact that more than likely it was a crazy fan that saw the location on that thumbnail photo that, um, you know, for um, the song that um, Kendrick put out uh, that showed Drake's house. So the guy shot up the house, you know, drive by. So I'm going to put the full video in about 15 seconds. But let me say this, okay? This is unnecessary. This is what's going to happen now. We're going to have somebody die and it's going to be over with. And are you, do you want two of... Uh, one or two of the best rappers that are out right now, I guess. I'm not going to call all time, but right now out losing their lives over something so stupid. It ain't even that serious. But this is the culture, and this is what I tell, tell y'all. You know, this is hip-hop culture that ain't even ran by the black folks that are so highly invested in it. The white folks at the top are running the hip-hop culture. So we need to do better. We need to be better. We need to stop this violence before it gets too bad. Because like I just told you before, we're like proving everybody right that we're violent people by having this happen. Because, you know, no other genre of music is going to have people house getting shot up over some beef. And like I said, it might have been a fan who did it. But who knows? Maybe Kendrick's my his camp could have did it. Then on top of that, I'm going to show you right here. Let me right there. You have um, Kendrick's um, a crazy fan, of course. Spray painted it on Drake's OVO store, the front window, and they went in and destroyed some stuff in London, okay, at his store. Just getting out of hand. It's unnecessary. And hopefully this turns around before it gets too bad. But let me show y'all the video here. And make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you appreciate the video. That's just a little bit of what I think about the situation. But let me get to the actual report in full, about four minutes long. Good morning, everyone. I'm Inspector Paul Krofchek of the Integrated Gun and Gang Task Force, and uh, I'm pleased to be here today. I know there's a lot of interest in this incident, and I hope you can also appreciate that information is very limited at this time, so I only have so much. What I do know, I will advise you of, and I will take a few questions at the end. This morning at about 2 a.m., police were called to a shooting at the residence behind me here. When officers arrived, they located a male who was suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. That male was taken to hospital in serious condition. That person was working, apparently, as a security guard at the residence. He was standing outside of the gates in front of the residence when the shooting occurred. We have uh, individuals who obviously performed the shooting who were seen in a vehicle. I do not have a description of the vehicle or the suspects at this time. Again, it's very early on in the investigation. I cannot speak to a motive at this time because it's so early, but as we get information, we will share it with you. Anyone with information is asked to call 416-808-2510 or Crime Stoppers. You can expect to see an increased presence in this neighborhood for the next little while, but it's no different than any other shooting or firearm discharge. We'll have officers here looking for witnesses to come forward, as well as we can canvassing for video. I'll now take a few questions. Was Drake home and is he cooperating with this investigation? I cannot confirm if Drake was home at the time the incident occurred, but I can tell you that we are in contact with his team and they are cooperating. So I am aware of what you're talking about, but uh, it is so early in the investigation that I, we don't have a motive at this time. Well, and so I cannot comment further on that. While the, the motive may not be confirmed, if that is something that you're looking at, knowing that this beef crosses borders into the U.S., is there anything being done in the investigation to maybe prevent a potential suspect from leaving Canada? So there is, this is no different than any other investigation, okay? Like, 
it's maybe more high profile because there's more people here, but we treat it like any other incident. So we'll be using all our resources. Our teams will be uh, doing as much as they can to investigate this, but it'll be no different than any other investigation at this time. So I can tell you that uh, all I'm going to say about the victim is that he's still in the hospital in serious condition. And I'm not going to dis- uh, uh, No, I'm not going to do it this time. Uh, this is obviously a, a very well-to-do uh, neighborhood. There's likely a lot of uh, video around. Have you guys begun your canvassing? Do you expect to get a good amount of video involved with this? Uh, I would be surprised if we didn't. Uh, I can say that we've already collected some uh, video evidence which uh, captures the incident. You said suspects plural. Can you say are we talking two, three, or more? No idea at this time. And would you characterize this as a drive by shooting or more specifically just a stop and open fire? Uh, I'm not going to get into uh, specifics about the investigation at this time, just that it uh, a vehicle was involved and then fled the scene. Uh, that will be part of our investigation, uh, but again, we're very early on. Uh, I don't have that information. Is this the graveyard alone? Were there other graveyards in the city? Uh, I don't have that information. Uh, did, in the incident, did it look like the security guard was the target? Were they trying to get past him? Uh, don't know at this time. You said you had video capturing the incident? Yes. The actual shooting? Yes. And you can't give us a description of the vehicle? Nope, not at this time. No, because I, I, it's we're dealing with video quality issues, correct? So we, uh, as we have information and we're able to analyze video better, then we'll be able to provide more information. You mentioned that the, the shooting occurred outside the gates, but there are markers inside near a garage, and there's an area cordoned off there. Would, would shell casings have gone that far? Why would that? Happen? I, I haven't even walked up to the scene, so I can't comment. Oh, thank you. For,